This is Ms. Ruchika welcoming you to today's session on Kramer's rule for 2 cross 2 matrix. This is a must watch video and in this video we are going to step by step look at the method that we are going to use to solve a system of equations using Kramer's rule. Today we are going to talk about 2 cross 2 matrix. In the next video we will look at 3 cross 3 matrix and now we are diving into the main concept of the lesson. So everything, all parts of videos, part 1 and 2 that we have done till now will be useful and used in this video. So let's dive into the video and see what we are learning today. In part 3 of solving system of equations using Kramer's rule, today you are going to learn about solving the 2 cross 2 system of linear equations. The Kramer's rule introduction will be given in today's video. So it's a must watch video. Make sure you all are uh, watching the video till the end and being careful and confident and sincere in watching through the video and solving the questions. In your ministry exam, surely many questions are going to come from Kramer's rule. Okay, so let's understand the Kramer's rule that we use to solve questions on determinants. This is again a second application and this is an answer to your question why you are learning matrices. So the first application you saw in our last video was to use uh, determinants to use the determinant formula to calculate area of triangle and the second and the most important application you are learning today which is Kramer's rule. Okay, so what is this Kramer's rule? Let's try to understand. So here you will use determinants to solve system of equation. Generally, you will be given two equations because right now we are looking at two cross two matrix for which we are going to do the Kramer's rule. Uh, next video will be 3 cross 3. So let's just focus on 2 cross 2 right now. So two equations, two variables. So the two variables, unknown variables would be x and y. And in order to this, uh, find the solution for this system of equation, having unique solution, you are going to use this Kramer's rule. Okay, so first step in finding Kramer's rule or in solving a question on Kramer rule would be to find the coefficient matrix and to find its determinant. So remember, there will be a unique solution. There will be one solution if and only if the determinant is non-zero for the coefficient matrix. So first you calculate your determinant of A, which will be a 2 cross 2 order, uh, second order determinant. And you look at its value. If this comes out to be 0, colors we stop and we just say that it has no solution or infinite solution. If it is non-zero, only then we proceed for unique solution. Now, this method called Kramer's rule uses the coefficient matrix. So, coefficient matrix is very important. What is this coefficient matrix? It is a matrix that contains only the coefficients of the system. So, let's look at the system of equation. So ax plus by equal to m, first equation, fx plus gy equal to n. So this is general system of equation. Coefficient matrix C is all the coefficients of variable x and y. So what is the coefficient of x in first equation? A. Coefficient of x in second equation? F. Coefficient of y in first equation? B. Coefficient of y in second equation g so matrix a b f g this matrix is called your coefficient matrix accordingly its determinant would be determinant of c now if it is non-zero we can put it in the denominator and the solution of the system the unique solution x and y are given by this formula and that's what is your Kramer's rule so a trick as you would see in the slides to come in the video to come in this session that there's a trick that I will teach you. So watch the video till the end, look at the trick and see how I'm solving the questions on Kramer's rule. Very, very useful video, very, very important as well, where you get one question in your exam surely from this part. Okay, so the trick is for finding x, you cover the coefficient of x. Don't take a and f. Remaining coefficient you'll take. So you will start with m and n in the first column, followed by b and g in the second column. Take the determinant divided by the determinant of coefficient matrix. Similarly, for y, you skip the coefficients of y. So b and g will not come. You start with a, f. 
and then followed by M and N in the second column. Divide by coefficient matrix C to get your Y value. Let's take an example. So here I have taken some guided practice questions. These are given on page 48. There are two parts, 4A and 4B. We will be solving 4A in this session. That's your classwork. 4B, you will try yourself. And also there is a very good solved example given on page 48. I have also solved them in the video. And when you check your answers, this is what you should be getting. So make sure you try yourself. And now let's dive into the video that I've specially made for you, showing you the steps how to solve 2 cross 2 matrix using Kramer's rule. Okay, so let's solve the first question 4a. This I have taken from guided practice question on page 48. So two equations are given, uh, the equation number 1, equation number 2, and we have to solve this question using Kramer's rule. So this will give you a 2 cross 2 system of linear equation in two variables x and y. We need to find the value of x and y. For that, first we write the coefficient matrix denoted by capital C and it is this matrix 2 cross 2 again which has all the coefficients. So the coefficient of x forms the first column, coefficient of y forms the second column. Now we find the determinant of this coefficient matrix. You already know the diagonal rule. We are going to multiply the primary diagonal and subtract the product of secondary diagonal. So 7 multiplied with minus 7 minus of 3 multiplied with minus 5. That gives you negative 7 times 7 plus 15 which is 15 minus 49 and this comes out to be negative 24. Okay, so that's our, uh, sorry, negative 34. So that's our value of the matrix determinant C. Now, in order to find Kramer's rule, applying it, we need the value of x and y. x, for x, you cover the coefficient of x and take the remaining coefficient. So the constant 37, negative 41, 3 and negative 7. So you can see how I'm covering with my finger the coefficients to give you the numbers. So for y, you cover y and you take 7, negative 5, 37 and negative 41. So this is a very useful trick in Kramer's rule. And again, for solving this determinant, you do the diagonal rule that you already know. So this whole thing comes out to be 37 multiplied with minus 7 plus 41 multiplied by 3. Denominator is the value of determinant of C, which is negative 34. Similarly, you simplify for value of Y. Denominator is also negative 34 in this case. Now we simplify more for X and Y. Just uh, you can use your calculator to simplify this calculation. And from there, you the value of X you can simplify and get similarly for value of y. Check your answer for the value of x and y and together the x and y are called as solution set. So I'm now going to be writing it loud and clear for you. So we have solved the system of equation using Kramer's rule and using the concept of determinants and your final answer for this question can be written in this way. So the solution set is the value of x comma y this is an ordered pair first you write the value of x which is 4 then value of y which is 3 negative 3 so this you will get in simplification check your answer and now i'm going to give you a question to try yourself which is again from your math book guided practice try it yourself now and check your understanding so i'm writing the question for you this is on page number 48 question number is 4b and here again just like the previous question you are given two 
linear equation in two variables x and y the first equation is 8x minus 5y equal to 70 the second is 7x plus uh, 9x plus 7y equal to 3 so just solve these two equations and get your value of x and y using grammar's rule So once you do all the steps that I've shown you in the last question, you will be able to Let's solve now correctly try one more and question check your solution. solution rule for a two cross two matrix. The value of just x to make you all more comfortable with this question. This method. So I'm taking here two equations. The correct five x minus six y equal to fifteen, and three x plus four y equal to negative twenty nine. So let's solve them now. First step would be. Uh, to find the coefficient matrix so we are going to take all the coefficients of variables x and y so let's find the coefficient matrix c capital c and then find its determinant and using that the formula for your x and y is this so i'm just writing the formula for you and the denominator as you can see is your value of c so the c or coefficient matrix here if you look at the question and the equations has the elements five three negative six and four so you take your matrix from there i have highlighted in red circles for you the numbers here so you write them in a square bracket the big brackets for matrix now we need to find their determinant. So determinant of C, use the diagonal rule, take the product of primary and subtract from secondary. So this will come out to be 20 minus of minus 18. So that becomes plus. So 20 plus 18. So that's 38. So the denominator is 38 here. Now we have got, let's simplify the numerator. Similarly, using diagonal rule for x, you get these numbers. Denominator is 38. Now do for y, same process. Multiply the primary diagonal. Subtract the product of secondary diagonal. Divide by 38. Now you can use your calculator. Just simplify your calculation. You will be getting your values of x and y so when you simplify the calculation this is what you get for x and y keep on solving till you reach the solution set of values of x and y so your x comes out to be negative 114 divided by 38 and your y comes out to be negative 190 divided by 38 so x is negative 3 and y is negative 5 so your solution set which is x comma y is negative 3 comma negative 5 and that's your answer i hope it is clear to you now coming up next will be part 4 of this series for grade 10 elite mathematics so make sure you stay glued to my channel for the uh, the next part part 4 of solving systems of equation using kramer's rule and in the next video we'll be looking at three cross three system of linear equations and it will be again a must watch video very very important for your exams how you are going to be solving such a video so make sure you stay glued and hit that bell icon to receive notification of that upcoming video so that brings us to the end of today's session for 2 cross 2 matrix and Kramer's rule. Thank you for watching the video and if you've liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends of uh, grade 10 elite who are going to be giving their exams shortly. And also, kind reminder to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you've been watching my videos and finding them useful and helpful. Until then, this is Ms. Ritika signing off from today's session. Bye-bye.